there foodies, welcome to the channel, please subscribe to be notified of future videos. Hi, my name is Nadine and uh, today I would like to show you a really quick tutorial how you can make uh, poached eggs. A lot of people have asked me if I could show them and it's actually so simple to make. So I thought I'm not going to show you the exactly professional way, but a very nice easy shortcut version and it will come out very perfect. Most important for this is, oh, let me show you ingredients first. You're gonna need eggs, you need salt and pepper, very important, you need vinegar and water. Whatever else you wanna serve with is entirely up to you, egg benedict or anything, then you can join me for my proper cooking classes. I would show you and teach you this with those hollandaise. But here I'm just gonna show you an egg benedict on a toast with a bit of spinach. So first important thing, your egg should be very, very fresh. Okay, so a fr the fresher the egg, the better it is. And uh, you pop them in one of those little ramekins. So while you're actually popping them in, make sure you start your water and it starts boiling. I had it hot already a bit earlier. And uh, let's crack the second egg. So you see now we have two eggs because this is the portion what you actually serve for some poached eggs. So usually you would always go egg and salt. Salt takes water out of protein. So you treat your egg as a protein. If you add salt, for example, on meat like biltong, it dries it out. So it would do the, exactly the same to your eggs. So that's why you do not add salt. You're using the opposite, you're using vinegar. So what vinegar does in proteins, it pulls the pores together. So that's why you add vinegar into your water. You can use any one. I just have now here apple cider, a good big dash if you want to be exactly two tablespoons. My water has to boil nicely. So make sure before you start putting this in, you have a dish with a bit of paper towel and uh, a dish where you can take it out with. Old classical way, you have to swirl your water and all of this, sorry to say, crap. we're gonna make it really, really simple. Okay, so you see my water is starting to boil. When you add your egg, don't go too slow and don't go too high. So you want to be as close as possible to the water and as quick as possible inside. So there we go, number one. And let's put the second one in and number two. So you can see the egg white is gonna stay around it. If your egg is older, your egg white is loose and that means it will frizzle out too much. So rather keep your older eggs for your omelets or for baking. Your fresh eggs are ideal for poaching. So you can see already in the water now, they have molded around and I can see my egg white is still not cooked yet. It will take three to four minutes until it's ready. And uh, obviously if you prefer your egg yellow to be completely cooked, you can just let it cook a little bit longer. So while this is cooking, I'm just gonna have some spinach here. I really just looked what I had in my fridge without making too much jazz. So I'm gonna add a bit of salt. This one here is Himalayan salt with some herbs, but you can use normal salt, a little bit of pepper. And uh, because I have my vinegar here, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of vinegar to this as well. So you could use olive oil to mix it. I'm just gonna cut a bit of avocado. And you can see now here, my water is boiling too much, so I'm going to reduce it. So you don't want to have it a completely boiling stage. You want it to a rolling boiling, which is just before it is very high. Okay, so we're gonna leave this a little longer. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna cut my avocado. And to speed up things, I have toasted a piece of bread. Sorry, I'm gonna use my hand, so it's just quicker, <laughs> but you can use a spoon. And we're just gonna dress this nicely on top. So if you don't like raw spinach, you can put salad on top or fried mushrooms, whatever you feel like is nice to use. I think that looks awesome and extremely healthy and wholesome. This is ideal food if you are on a diet because you're not adding any extra fat and your avocado is unsaturated fat, which is very good for you. All right, so let's have a check on our eggs and I'm gonna lift it gently. So I'm gonna feel it and I can feel my egg yellow. It's still nice and soft, but my egg white has cooked perfectly. Can you see the awesome shape it is? So I'm gonna take it out. I put it a little bit on my paper toweling and now I always have one pretty and one ugly side. I'm gonna put the pretty side on top and I'm taking out my second one and here as well. If you have too much of a tail, you can cut it off as well. But I think if you cook this at home, it's more about the taste and looking pretty. There we go. Serve a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And voila. You have some awesome poached eggs, which you could serve for breakfast, for lunch, whatever you feel like. And it is so, so simple to make. Hope you enjoy that. Voila. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Please let me know in the comments below how this recipe worked out for you. If you have any suggestions or anything what you would like to see in the future, please leave me a comment below. I'm happy to do this for you. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos.